And we'll do the slide next time. Just, let's just finish. I'm trying to give this the keep hope alive part of the lecture. All right, keep hope alive. We're almost done. All right, so here's the G. Let's say we want to design a controller using this idea. First order plus time delay model. So here's our G, right? Gain, time constant, theta. Factor that into this form, which is convenient for us. The part without the delay times the delay. Here's our desired closed loop transfer function. We admit we have to conclude a time delay in it, so we have the, the 1 over tau CS plus 1, that's this, multiply that time delay. So just factoring these into the part with, with the without the delay and the delay for both of these. Plug them into this formula that I had trouble deriving, okay? So let's see if there's any simple way to explain this without just an, uh, regurgitating what I put. So um, let me see, G star, so that's, so the G star is the part without the delay, that's that and that. Okay, that's where that comes from. The GD star is this thing without delay. That's where this thing comes from, okay? And then you have to have one minus the whole GD thing, which has to include the delay, okay? If you simplify that by, what, multiplying across, well, actually, this will be quite easy, right? Just multiply tau CS plus one here in both of these terms. You'll get this thing here, okay? And the idea here is what the heck is this thing, right? This is a gnarly looking thing. It's got a time delay down there. We don't know how to deal with that, or at least I'm warning you, we don't know how to deal with that. So I want to get rid of this thing. I don't like it, okay? So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of the polynomial approximations. We talked about three of these. This was the simplest one, right? Where do we get this? This was the first two um, terms in the Taylor series expansion of the time delay. There's also S squared, S cubed, right? That's the simplest one. Why am I using the simplest one? Because it'll lead to the simplest formula. Okay. You could also do first order Pade approximation or second order, then they would become quite unwieldy. So I'm just going to eliminate the time delay using this approximation, and that's obviously very convenient, right? Because the ones will cancel, and I'll get plus theta s here. And now I look at this thing here, and I conclude I can rearrange this to be a PI controller. Why? Because there's the term I need in the numerator, and this term down here is just some constant times s. That's a PI controller. If you do the rearrangement, it looks like this. Okay. So the controller gain is this whole thing here. It involves the process gain, the process time delay, the process time constant, your desired closed loop con time constant. That whole thing is KC. And then, as usual, it seems, the tau i is just equal to tau of the process. Okay? All right. So this is basically how you apply the method. So it's very, this is a very common thing I give on homework and tests, I'm just telling you. Uh, you just have to. You'll, not, not this particular example. I meant the whole, this whole method, okay? Applied to certain problems to design a controller. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next time is I'm gonna explain to you what the limitations of this method are, which I've conveniently ignored so far, and then I'm gonna introduce this more general method and we'll finish up. Okay, yeah. No, I mean, yeah. This one? Uh -huh. Oh, you wanna write it, sorry. Yeah, so I thought you had that all written, okay. So I guess I will